I'm at a Windows cluster, and as you can see, one of my particular virtual machines has failed. And this happened after a hard crash. So after it crashed, it came back up. Some of the virtual machines restarted fine. Some are in the off position, which I can just right click and choose start, and they'll start coming up again. But the ones that say fail, a lot of times you cannot get those to start. So what you want to do is you want to delete them from the cluster and add them back in. So I'm going to right click and choose remove. Now choosing remove does not actually cause any problem. I'm just going to click yes. It's gone, but you can see in the Hyper-V section that that virtual machine is still there. We didn't delete anything. And here we can see it in the list in Hyper-V and it's certainly still there. Nothing's been deleted there. We just deleted it from the clustered section and we can certainly get that back just the same way that we added it in in the first place. So we go back to our clustering we choose configure role by right clicking on roles and then our wizard comes up click next choose virtual machine click next and now it's going to show me all the different virtual machines that are not currently in the cluster and here's the one that i wanted so i'll go ahead and add that back in and i should be able to start it when it's done and it was successfully added back in and now instead of showing failed it just shows that it's off so i'll go ahead and click start and now we see it's starting up and it's running 